Yeah, this question came in six months ago, so hopefully Scott has gone on to greater things and figured this out in the meantime, and it wasn't just waiting for my YouTube channel to have a video finally. But anyways, for other people who maybe are struggling with the same question, basically an audio hijack where you've got two blocks that are maybe you've got a music, Apple Music or Spotify, let's say, like Scott was using, and then your voice track that maybe you're talking over top of and multiple people or, or maybe you're playing a video. And if there's no audio coming through, then it doesn't record audio onto that track while there's no audio being generated by that block. So let's just dig into this quickly. Here. An example anyways of a podcast, let's say I'm using my Scarlet to record. I've got a recorder that's going here. Everything's great. But then I want to add maybe a uh, capture something else, not have it go in anywhere. And I'm going to add ooh, DVD player. There's a classic. I'll just select an application. So you got music. Great. And then, of course, we'd add like all sorts of other. You could add the leveler and et cetera. But basically, what we're getting at is we want to record it as well, but in its own track, separate from my voice when it records. And so I set up my recording settings here, just like you you would if you want MP3 or AAC, et cetera, AAFF, if you've got lots of space and need it high quality. So you've got the two recordings going, but if I do this right now, and if no music is coming through, this isn't actually gonna record. And it's actually a very simple fix in the uh, settings for the block itself, not the uh, recording block, is you want to include, uh, or sorry, fill playback gaps with silence. So basically, whenever the block stops generating noise or sound or whatever, you need to just keep it recording. Don't stop that and put silence there so that um, basically it's a way of tricking Audio Hijack or telling Audio Hijack to trick itself into saying, keep recording this even though there's nothing. Whereas a, um, a microphone like input device, it records all the time, even when you're not talking, because there is still some noise coming through. Whereas any other sort of device or um, content block that you're uh, generating sounds from, music from, etc., you want to fill that with silence. So the same would be said if you, or the same trick would be appropriate here if you were doing, let's say, Frago, my favorite uh, soundboard app. You would want this to fill playback gaps with silence so that the timeline of the recorded file is the same. And so then when you're doing editing afterwards in Logic Pro or whatever else, you've got three, four different tracks that you've recorded and they're all going to have appropriate lengths. They should be all the same length, file length, time length. Um, though they'll be different sizes because, of course, different levels of uh, different audio sounds will f create a larger audio file. But the length of them will be the, the same, which is the most important thing when you're putting them into some sort of multi-track audio editor like Logic Pro, uh, Pro Tools, etc., so that you can edit them without having to try and line everything up and remember where something was when it happened during the recording. So hopefully that helps. Feel free to throw another question in down below if I if you have it about audio hijack or anything related to audio and podcasting and live streaming and stuff like that on the Mac, especially. Um, I'm trying to get back into doing a bit more video. Obviously, uh, it, it doesn't happen as often these days just because of client work, which is a good problem to have. But um, I love making the videos and happy to get back to doing them. So feel free to leave comments, questions below. Like and subscribe, of course. Share it with your friends if you can. And hope to see you in the next video. See ya.